NAVAID Standard Service Volume Classifications. Because of MON, Minimum Operational Network, and PBN, Performance-Based Navigation Requirements, there's been an expansion of VOR and DME SSVs, Standard Service Volumes. And these are the Standard Service Volumes in the form of an L or an H that's typically found inside the NAVAID frequency box on low-altitude root charts. Now, with the MON network program eliminating some VORs and their related airways, increasing the service volumes of the remaining VORs and DMEs beyond what we originally had is essentially a mitigation strategy as part of the MON reduction program so that pilots could navigate to any point in the national airspace system direct to a VOR when 5,000 feet above the VOR or higher, and this is a key capability to keep that VOR as a backup to GPS navigation for airplanes not equipped with GPS, or airplanes that have experienced a GPS failure, or if there is a widespread GPS outage. Low and high altitude on route charts now show NAVAID identification boxes having SSVs, or Standard Service Volumes, that identify frequency protected altitude and distances for all components associated with that NAVAID. For instance, letters shown in parentheses are SSVs for the associated NAVAID. Double letters are SSVs for all stations having multiple navigation components. And those components might be VOR, DME, or TACAN each component having its own service volume limitation. The Riverside VOR navigation box identifies a nav station having only one navigational component, the VOR. Its SSV is identified as VL, meaning that at an altitude between 1,000 and 5,000 feet above the transmitter height, essentially an AGL value, it is usable at altitudes as shown in the accompanying graphic. The Paradise VOR navigation box shows two SSVs, side-by-side -side Hs. The first H represents the SSV for the VOR station, and the VOR's SSV is always represented first. The second SSV is also an H and represents the SSV for the second NAVAID component, which is the DME in this case. Therefore, VOR reception and DME reception are frequency protected at altitudes as shown in the accompanying graphic. El Toro VOR has two Ts representing SSVs for the VOR and the DME. The SSV of the VOR offers frequency protection out to 25 nautical miles from the station at altitudes between 1,000 and 12,000 feet above the station transmitter height. The SSV of the DME offers the same frequency protection here. Finally, Oceanside VOR shows two SSVs. The SSV VH indicates that the VOR's frequency is protected at altitudes as shown in the accompanying graphic. The second SSV, the H, indicates that DME has a different frequency protection as identified in the same graphic. Now keep in mind that SSVs exist to prevent NAVAID frequency overlap. It's entirely possible that you could receive a VOR or DME signal beyond the frequency protected range of the NAVAID. However, there's no guarantee that this signal isn't being generated by another facility located beyond the original facility's protected limits.